Hello class! Welcome back to our channel. So for today's video, ituturo ko sa inyo kung paano ba kunin yung derivative ng isang function using the product rule. Okay, so pag sinabi natin product rule, ibig sabihin, doon sa ating given function is meron tayong multiplication. Okay, so in our case or in our formula, we have f of x times g of x. Okay? Then, pag kinuha natin, guys, yung derivative ng f of x times g of x, ang formula na gagamitin natin is yung f of x times g prime of x. Yung prime dito, guys, ibig sabihin, yung g of x ay naka-first derivative. Okay? Plus, g of x times the f prime of x. So, sa second term naman, yung f of x natin ang naka-derivative. Okay? So, let's have our first example. Find the derivative of y equals 2x raised to 4 minus 3 times the quantity of x squared plus 1. So, as you can see, yung given natin is merong multiplication. Ibig sabihin, pwede nating i-apply yung ating product rule. Tama? So, in our problem, ang f of x natin is yung 2x raised to 4 minus 3. Then, yung x squared plus 1 naman, ito yung ating g of x. Nakuha? So, bago natin ma-apply yung ating formula, kailangan uh, makuha muna natin yung first derivative ng ating f of x and g of x. So, try natin. So, ang f of x natin is equals to 2x raised to 4 minus 3. So, kung kukunin natin guys yung kanyang um, derivative, we have f prime of x is equals to 2x raised to 4. So, i-apply natin yung ating power rule. Tama? So, multiply natin si 4 dun sa 2. So, 4 times 2, then x raised to 4 minus 1. Okay? Then, ang derivative ng negative 3 is 0 since constant yan. Then, ang ating f prime of x is equals to 4 times 2, we have 8x raised to 3. Okay? Then, for g of x naman, we have x squared plus 1. So, getting the derivative, we have g prime of x is equals to, so, meron tayong exponent na 2. Multiply natin yan dito, guys. So, we have 2x raised to 2 minus 1. Tama? Applying the power rule. Then, derivative ng 1, since constant yan, that is 0. So, therefore, ang ating g prime of x is equals to 2x raised to 1, or 2x na lang. Okay? So, ngayon, nakuha na natin yung f of x, f prime of x, g of x, and g prime of x. Ibig sabihin, uh, pwede na natin gamitin yung ating formula na product rule. So, ang derivative ngayon ng ating main function, which is yung y. So, we have y prime is equals to f of x times g prime of x plus um, g of x times f prime of x. Okay, so substitute natin isa-isa yung ating mga functions. So, we have y prime is equals to f of x, which is... Uh, 2x raised to 4 minus 3. Tama? Times g prime of x which is 2x. Plus, yung ating g of x which is x squared plus 1. Times f prime of x which is 8x cubed. Nakuha? So, after natin ma-substitute yung ating mga function, isi-simplify lang natin to guys. So, pwede natin i-distribute si 2x dito sa ating binomial. So, we have y prime is equals to, this is 4x raised to 5. Then, 2x times negative 3, that is negative 6x. Then, si 8x cubed, multiply natin dito sa ating binomial. So, that is 8x raised to 5. Then, 8x cubed times 1, we have 8x cubed. Tama? Then, combining similar terms, we have 4x raised to 5 plus 8x raised to 5. 
Okay, so ang y prime natin is equals to 12x raised to 5, then plus 8x cubed minus 6x. So, ito na ngayon guys, yung ating magiging final answer. Okay? So, naintindihan ba guys kung paano natin in-apply yung product rule dun sa ating given function? So, let's have another example. Number 2, we have y equals the quantity of 3x raised to 4 minus x cubed plus 1 times the quantity of negative 5x minus 1. So, first, identify natin yung ating f of x and g of x. Ito ngayon guys yung ating f of x. Then, this will be our g of x. Okay? Then, after nyan, ang f of x natin is 3x raised to 4 minus x cubed plus 1. Kukunin natin ngayon, guys, yung kanyang derivative. Okay? So, we have f prime of x is equals to... So, dito, i-apply natin yung power rule natin. So, multiply natin yan. 4 times 3, that is 12 x, then 4, minus 1, so 3. Tama? Next, 3 times negative 1, so that is negative 3x, then yung 3, minus 1, so may, meron tayong square. Okay? Then, plus 1, derivative ng constant ay 0. Okay, so next we have g of x, equals negative 5x minus 1. So, pag kinuha natin yung g prime of x, applying the power formula. So, ito guys, meron yung um, exponent na 1. Tama? So, 1 times negative 5, that is still negative 5. Then, 1 minus 1, magkakaroon tayo dyan ng 0. Then, ang x raised to 0 guys is positive 1. So, ang ating g prime of x is equals to negative 5. Okay? So, after natin makuha yung ating f of x, f prime of x, g of x, and g prime of x, pwede na natin i-apply yung ating product rule. So, again, ang formula natin, we have f of x times g prime of x plus g of x times f prime of x. Okay, so substitute na natin guys. We have y prime is equals to f of x which is 3x raised to 4 minus x cubed plus 1 times g prime of x which is negative 5. Tama? Plus g of x. Ang g of x natin ay negative 5x minus 1 times f prime of x which is 12x cubed minus 3x squared. Okay, so simplify natin to guys. Dito sa ating uh, first term, distribute lang natin si negative 5. So may second term naman, pwede tayong mag-apply ng FOIL method. Okay, so try natin. So y prime is equals to Negative 5 times 3x raised to 4, that is negative 15x raised to 4. Negative 5 times negative x cubed, that is positive 5x cubed. Then negative 5 times 1, we have negative 5. Okay? So next, FOIL method tayo dito. Negative 5 times 12, that is negative 60x raised to 4. Outer. Negative 5 times negative 3, that is positive 15. Then x cubed. Then inner. Negative 1 times 12, we have negative 12 x cubed. Then last term, that is negative 1 times negative 3, we have positive 3 x squared. Okay? So, after natin ma-multiply yan, guys, ang gagawin nyo naman is combining like terms. So, hanapin nyo yung mga like terms natin. Una, we have negative 15x raised to 4 and negative 60x raised to 4. Tama? So, pag kinombine natin yan, negative 15 minus 60, that is negative 75x raised to 4. 
followed by yung ating cube. So, 5 plus 15, that's 20, minus 12, we have 8x cubed. Okay? Then next, yung ating 3x squared. So, meron tayong positive 3x squared. Then, ang last term natin is yung constant, which is minus 5. Okay? So, ito na ngayon, guys, yung ating final answer. Nakuha, guys? So, this is the end of our video. I hope uh, naintindihan nyo kung paano ba kunin uh, yung derivative ng isang function using the product rule. So, if you have questions or clarifications, kindly put them in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching. This is Prof. D. I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye!